as an adult and a treasure hunter, I am committed to search for all the talents, skills, and intelligence that exist in all children and you. I believe all children are capable of success. No exceptions! Good morning, Park Cubs. I'm Erica. And I'm Alec Flores. Welcome to the Cub Report, your daily source of information about what is going on here at Park. The Cub Report is our way of letting students, staff, and family know everything that is going on here at Park and to create a better connection among everyone. Today, you're going to come to school and have classes for periods 1, 3, 5, and 7. Today's in-building grab-and-go lunch, we will be having chicken nuggets. When all chicken nuggets have been served, remaining students will then be served sun butter and jelly sandwiches. For tomorrow's lunch, it will be corn dogs. When all corn dogs have been served, remaining students will then be served crispy chicken salad. I just want to give a shout out to Spencer Myers for saving me outside the other day. I was locked out of the building because I forgot my badge and he came and helped me get in the building and I really appreciate it because my hands were full. Way to go Spencer! Keep it up! Go Cubs! Hello Cubs! Welcome to our first Gear Up Minute. This is going to be a section where I'm going to talk to you about local jobs, colleges, and stuff like that. First, right off the bat, we're going to talk about Hanford. This is just part one about Hanford. I'm sure you've heard the name Hanford. It's a massive employer in our area, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it. So part one, what is Hanford? Uh, it was developed to create fuel for our nuclear, the nuclear bomb that we uh, used in World War II. Okay? But now we've got a bunch of extra nuclear waste and we had to figure out what to do with it. Okay? So now it's what's called a vitrification plant. That's where we're taking the nuclear waste and we're turning it into glass. Don't ask me how that works. I just know vitrification means turning the waste into glass. So that's what they're doing. The reason it's important is because it, it is a ton of money. A ton of money into our community from the federal government, which means jobs, jobs, and more jobs. There's a ton of jobs out there. There's a ton of jobs available for you once you graduate high school out there to Hanford, uh, Hanford site. So here's just a list of some of the jobs that are available out there. Lots of engineering jobs, a ton of engineering jobs, uh, pipe fitting jobs, a ton of construction jobs, uh, hazardous waste operation jobs, uh, also known as Haswopper, uh, and then there's also Hanford Patrol. There's a lot more than that, but those are just some that we're going to highlight. So stay tuned. Next time we do this, we're going to be going into some of these jobs specifically. Next week will be Spirit Week. Here are the themes for each day of the week. Monday and Friday, the theme will be favorite character from a book or movie. Make sure not to wear any full face mask, no character mask, no face paint, and no weapons, and it must be a school appropriate costume. Tuesday and Thursday theme will be St. Patty's Day, so wear green. Wednesday will be Mass Day, even though there are no in-person school on this day. You can still decorate your face mask for a face mask contest. Decorate your mask and sub submit a picture for the Google form that will be posted in your homeroom class, as well as the ASB Google Classroom. A link for the Google form will be emailed to all students. Once the masks are approved, a Google form will be sent to all students to vote for the top three masks. The top three masks will be featured on the cover board. If you do not have a mask, teachers will be handing out dispos disposable masks for students to decorate. Welcome to Now You Know, the segment of the show that answers your most frequently asked questions. Ms. Greer, Ms. Greer. What? I need to ask you a question. How would you feel if ice sculptures ruled the world? What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, oh my. Um, you stumped me on that one. <laughs> I don't know, you got me on that one. 24 hours later. They would all go somewhere north in the summer. And if things got heated, it would sure be a mess. I would feel like I'm in a scene from Frozen. Let it go, let it go. 
Well, now you know. Can I come in there really fast? Yeah. Okay, really quick. What if ice sculptures ruled the world? We'd be cold. Now you know. <laughs> Our quote of the week is, remember that no matter how cool you think you may be, you're not cool enough to look down on anyone ever. Just a reminder that on Wednesdays, there will be no curb report. Remember, if you have any thoughts or suggestions for the curb report, send your ideas to bit.ly slash park curb report submission. Have a great week, and remember, all children are capable of success. No exceptions. Have a great day.